This is Max, and he's a two-year-old Cocker Spaniel and Poodle mix. Max has had some difficult grooming sessions where he was either turned away or not completed due to behavioral issues. His owners traveled two hours today in the hope that I can complete his groom. Let's see what his triggers are and if I'm able to work through them. So Max has not been completed by other groomers. He has quite a bit of a hack job going on here. His face has never been done to my knowledge. They cannot find a groomer in their area in Ontario willing to groom their dog. So I'm gonna find out today what exactly the problem is and what it is they need to work on and I'm gonna try to do the best job that I can do under the circumstances. So I'm just gonna put the water on low to start just to see how he is. Oh, you're going right for it. It's okay, it's okay. Good boy, good boy, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Max, it's okay. Good boy, good boy, Max. Good boy, Max. I want to take his muzzle off to wash his face, but if he's going to freak out over grooming, if he's going to freak out over having his body washed, he might not like his face washed. So we will see. The goal today is to get the groom done. So I don't want to stress him out by doing something that might really freak him out, like washing his face. So if that means that I can't wash it today, then so be it. It's okay, good boy. So instead of using my shampoo nozzle today because obviously he's very nervous, I'm just going to use some diluted shampoo on his body. Good boy. Might have to add some more water in here. It's okay, good boy. Max is a Cocker Spaniel and a Poodle mix. Oh, you have a very matted tail. And honestly, this breed is known to be a little difficult in my experience. I'm not saying that there aren't wonderful ones because I've groomed lots of wonderful ones, but I've also groomed a lot of difficult ones. And I find that if you are not in charge in the very beginning when they are puppies, they are smart and they will take advantage of that. It's okay, Max, 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 Max. It's okay, relax. And it will not be a good situation. So you need to show them that you're the boss when they are young. That goes for both the owner and the groomer. Considering his face is something that has not been done at the last appointment, I don't know if it was done before that, he obviously really doesn't like having his face touched. So I don't really necessarily want to wash it and then force to blow dry it because that might make him sensitive over his face. So if I just leave it today and trim it, even if it's a little bit dirty, maybe he'll let me near it if I don't do the bath and the blow dry on his face. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Good boy, Max. Cocker Spaniels, I find, can be really difficult dogs to groom sometimes. Um, they have something, sometimes, they have something what's called Cocker Rage, and that's exactly what you think it is. It's just aggressive behavior. So sometimes when you mix them with other dogs, that still comes out. Poodles are generally easy dogs to groom, so I'm blaming the Cocker. <laughs> but he's obviously really, really scared. You can tell he's very scared. Okay. Oh 
Okay, Max, I'm not going to put you through a face wash. Nope. Okay, stay here. Because you do not like it. You are very nervous. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay. Stay there. Okay, we're gonna put a happy hoodie on you for the blow dryer. So Max is still a little bit wet, but because he's going down with my shortest blade today, I shouldn't say my shortest, but one of my shortest blades today, he doesn't have to be totally dry. So I'm going to start his haircut and see how he reacts with the clipper, but I'm going to keep the happy hoodie on. Good boy. I used to have lots of dogs like this that I would groom throughout the years. And unfortunately, there's only, only so much time that you have to dedicate to them when you have another dog coming in after them. So when there's a time limit, it's hard to work on dogs like this because sometimes they need extra time, right? So it's nice now with social media that I am able to dedicate as much time as I want to dogs like this and make the experience a little bit less stressful for them. Good boy. Good boy, Max. Good dog. Good boy. He's extremely scared. You can see him shaking. That's all it is, is fear. A lot of people will comment on my videos and say, this isn't aggression, this is fear, and they're right, but because of their fear, they react aggressively. So it's still aggression, it's just called fear aggression. It's not just pure aggression. The dog is not just aggressive, it's scared. There is a difference. Good boy, Max. Good boy. Can I see your leg? Good boy, Max. Good boy. I 
I'm just taking him down short today because if the owners are having a hard time finding someone willing to work with him, then it might be a while before his next haircut. So if I can just take him down really short, then they have some time to find someone to work with him. And maybe whoever they find to work with him will be somebody that can just start with a bath and blow dry because he won't need a haircut yet. So just get used to, or get the dog used to the human. They can't keep coming to me because they live out of town. So this is just a one-time groom to kind of figure out what the dog's problems are and the right way to work with him, in my opinion. Um, okay, can we see the back end now? Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Max. Nope, nope, nope. So he definitely doesn't like his back end being touched. Good boy. Just give him some breaks in between forcing him to stand because he doesn't like standing. Nope. You really don't like the side of your body being groomed. Good boy, Max. Stay. Good boy. Good boy, Max. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. Max. It's okay. Why are you crying now? Hmm? Why are you crying now? It's okay. It's okay. Okay, you don't like your groin being touched. So, I am going to put him in the belly band. Because he keeps spinning. And hopefully that will help me to get his back end completed. It's okay, it's okay, Max. It's okay, it's okay. Does not like the groin being touched and that's got to be for some type of a reason okay okay what is it about your back end that's such a problem the reason why i don't want him doing that is because he is going to take the muzzle off of his face if he keeps doing it so i am going to put him into the groomer's helper just in case he does take the muzzle off of his face so that he at least cannot spin, no, 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 to bite me. Because it might end up coming off. No, 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 good boy, good boy. Good boy, Max, good boy, Max, no. We're not going to let you win today, otherwise you're going to think you can always win. Gently pull any of that matting. That can make a dog very fearful to have their groin shaved if they're sensitive. He's obviously sensitive. So if I use a shorter blade like a 10, it won't cause any pulling and he should be less stressed out. So let's see. Good boy. Good boy. So I can't get it perfectly clean because I have to take the belly band off, but that was a little bit. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna do the other side. Good boy. Good boy.
Good boy. Good boy. See this one? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Max. Okay. Good boy, Max. I'm still waiting for the shoe to drop because if he's that difficult that three different groomers don't want to work on him, there's got to be a reason. But I have yet to have figured out that reason. Yes, he's a little antsy with certain things, but I wouldn't say he's not doable yet. I always like to say yet because you just never know. Good boy. Let me see. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Shh, 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 shh. Good boy. Good boy, Max. Okay. When I say okay, you wag your tail. Okay, so body is totally done. Everything's completed. All I need to do now is remove the muzzle, dry his face a little bit more, and see if he will let me do his face. He does not want his face dried. Whatever. Let me shave up here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Max. Good boy, Max. Okay. His face is really matted, and I really don't want to stress him out by um, brushing it out. I'll try. I'll see what he does. Don't bite, okay? I see. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Max. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.
Well, Max is completed and he was completely fine for grooming. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is, why several groomers have turned him away. They also said that they don't return their calls when they try to book him in for again for another appointment. His face was not completed at all. He was very choppy. I have no idea what the problem was. I didn't have any issues. Maybe he is very stressed in environments that are loud with lots of barking dogs. Maybe that's why he did better here. But we got him completed totally. He showed no signs of aggression and I think he is totally fine for grooming. Hey, come here. Uh, come here. Hey, oh, what the? Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oddly enough, I just finished this dog's groom and I noticed a hair that was out of place that I wanted to fix. So I came over to him with the scissors and he went to snap and bite. And that's the first time since his entire groom that I've seen him do anything to try to bite me. Or bite the equipment, I should say, not me. It's okay, it's okay. So he definitely does have aggression issues of some kind but it's very odd and sporadic. He'll let me pet him, good boy. But if I try to fix that hair that went out of place, good boy, it's right here, I wanna fix it. The owners nearly cried at pickup because it was the first time their dog ever had a completed groom. I was really happy I could help this dog and hopefully help the next groomer with tools on how to work with him. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you again next week.